So Jim just came back from the dentist. Mm. <laughs> Had a couple of cavities. So you're all numb? All numb from like the right side through my front face and to the left. Okay, whistle for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Are, are my lips even straight? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like drooping to this way. You look like a Salamanca. <laughs> no, bring them closer together. I can't tell how far <laughs> apart they are. What do you mean? <laughs> We're so cheap, we give our dog Jim's old socks for toys, but it makes him super happy, so why spend money? Right, Ollie? Hey guys, so we just got to the camera store because for my birthday, I got a bunch of gift certificates and money that I'm hoping to use to buy a camera. I vlog on my phone, which is okay. Like, the quality is okay. If, if we're outside, it's okay, but inside, if there's no big windows. I'm it's really grainy and dark, so we'll see. Oh shit, it's starting to rain. Let's go. Oh, look at those clouds. Oh, running in flip flops doesn't work. Oh, like a kid in a candy store. Hello. Hello. Good, how are you? Bored out of my mind. Okay. The major differences between the two, honestly, and I don't think you would even care for it too much with the HX80, for the extra 50 bucks, you're getting the optical viewfinder. So when you take a photo, you yeah. can do this. Okay. Instead of looking through the screen. Okay. If you don't care about that at all, I'm then get the, w, uh, get the WX500. Because the specs are the exact same. 18 megapixels, 30 times zoom. Both are using the Zeiss glass. Both are using the exact same lens. They both use the same battery. Everything has the same functionality. Screen is the same. Both of them flip out. Can I see what that would look like? To yeah, 100%. Me? To your eye level, push halfway down to actually focus it. Does it and make then, a Oh my god, it knows when I'm there and not when I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> Artificial intelligence. <laughs> I'm just outside of Henry's now because Jen is about to buy her camera and oh man, is it coming down good. Wow. Right, so if you actually are going to be in a fairly decent lit room such as like, this is not even that really decently lit, you'll be perfectly fine. If you're going to be in a darker situation, then maybe bring in like a, a little light with you or something on yeah. the side will help you out a lot. Now keep in mind, these are point of shoot cameras, so they do stop about in 20 minute increments, 15 to 20 minute increments. So you would have to hit the record button again. It only does oh. that just so you don't burn out the sensor, okay? Oh, I hate that. If you want something that's... I, sometimes when I do a sit down video, where I talk about something, I'm filming for like four hours and it'll be a 10 minute video. If you're gonna do something like that, then I would have to gear you more towards a Panasonic GH4 or a system like that. The only thing is, it will be way over the budget that yeah. you're asking. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this lighting. And maybe buy another tripod because I can put this lighting the system on my actual tripod and then I can get a second tripod to hold my cap my phone which I'm gonna continue to vlog on right now until I make a little bit more money. Okay so I'm gonna get this tripod 
Okay, it's really nice. It's really, really smooth to do nice panning shots. And then I can use my old crusty 80s tripod to hold my new lighting. Yes. So we'll start with this because it's more affordable and then in the future I can look to a better camera and stuff like that. I wish I could get it all now but... High five. Okay, let's go eat and start. Wow, it is so humid. My hair is just frizzing up like a crazy. Okay. So the healthiest things in this plaza, since we do not want to drive anywhere, because we're starving, are like, like a pita wrap or that teriyaki experience, which is like they cook in water, just some rice or noodles with veggies and stuff. I feel like teriyaki. All right, let's do it. <laughs> sauce and I put um, some sriracha. So, looks so good. And what do you have, Jim? Yakisoba noodles with veggies and beef. shopping we didn't do a huge grocery haul that we usually go to Costco for I'll show you later um, and I think I'm going to make um, you know how I made the chickpea burgers before but I made them like I made it like a burger with ketchup and mustard I'm gonna make them smaller like little falafels and put them in a pita with hummus and tzatziki and lettuce and pickles and I think that those flavors will work much better and I'm really excited to try it and I'll let you know how they turn out and hopefully I can get in a little workout later although I get really tired by the end of the night I should have worked out like I should have woke up really early and worked out today but I want to sleep in so this is my little mini grocery haul I'll show you what I grabbed today we got a watermelon some bananas some dragon fruit some frozen blueberries that I like to put in my oatmeal, some shrimp, some frozen veggies, which you know I use once we run low on fresh veggies. I got some Catelli Smart pasta, which looks and tastes like white pasta, but has eight grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein, so that's pretty good. And I got some Special K cereal, some chickpeas, kidney beans, baby corn, regular corn, some banana peppers, some sauerkraut, because I heard it's really good for your digestive health, some pickles, some Thai red curry, some cashew milk and almond milk, tzatziki sauce and hummus, some extra firm tofu, some mushrooms, tomatoes, pears, celery, sweet potato, cucumbers, carrots, um, some romaine lettuce, and then I got this iceberg lettuce that has shredded cabbage and carrots in it that I can put into our falafels that I'm also putting into these pitas. That is it for what I got today. So here's a new light I got. I just placed it onto my dad's old tripod, and this is how it is on its lowest setting and then you can turn the knob to go brighter and brighter and brighter and it comes with um, like different filters that I can put onto it and this little carrying case if I need to take it anywhere so I'm happy with this purchase 
So I made my little falafel thingies. I made them exactly like the chickpea burgers I made, except I just made them smaller. I also added some onion powder, which I didn't do last time, and some chili powder. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon, well, a tablespoon of hummus down in here. And then let's put in a bunch of lettuce. banana peppers, some pickles that I cut up, we'll put a couple of these guys, a tablespoon of tzatziki, oh, and then tomatoes, I got those bad boys, tomatoes. So I don't know. Well, he folded it and he made it into like the, the, the smallest like sandwich in the history of sandwiches. Like what I'm doing, let's take off this extra bit. <laughs> okay. That's pretty damn good. So we've got that going on. Well, I'll take a bite out. Oh, let me do a close up of that action. Oh mama, can't wait to eat mine. Hold on. Yummy. You I, like it? I hope it's unbelievable. Mm. So, can't even really see it good. It's like 11 p.m. I think now we just took a little stroll in our backyard with Oliver and That's it for our day. I think we're just gonna probably go home and make some tea and relax. I it's think Yeah, I'm busy but good and so hot now. It's okay because there's a little bit of a breeze, but it's really humid today <sighs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with us. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one. Bye!